So you went from uh, High King Margo to yeah. Janet. Finally, I know. What's Janet doing? <laughs> Janet, uh, oh God, I don't know if this is a spoiler. Um, she has a new trade, is all I can say. Um, and she is still a, a proponent of change in the profession she's in and still very outspoken and motivated and ambitious and strong as Margot. And one of the choices I was sort of confronted with when we realized we had these new identities was, all right, do I change the character completely? And I didn't because, number one, it wasn't written to be. But number two, what I realized when I was sort of like preparing was it's still her without the knowledge that magic is real and that she can do it herself. And that certainly has defined her probably a great deal. But there were certain characteristics that were at her core that still remain um, and that are innate to her being and soul. So that was important to also remember. So some of the tweaks, although cosmetic, although professional, um, maybe geographical are there, but the motivations are still who she is. That, that was the choice I, I kind of made. And, yeah, it could be completely wrong. I don't know. I, maybe I should have changed everything. <laughs> Looking back on season three, uh, Margot had a lot of growing up to do as, as the king when Ellie was off on his quest. And, yes. Or the queen and then the king came yes. And then, uh, then issues with uh, Princess Aloria and there was consent issues. And the yes. Uh, how was that as an actress playing those roles? Were they difficult days? Were they yeah. just a job? Um, it's never just a job on the magicians. That's that's the cool thing. You can't get lazy. You literally cannot phone it in or do your shtick. Like you probably could on some other shows, I don't know, that don't move as quickly or don't involve this sort of tone. You kind of have to be present and at all times to just understand tonally how a scene should play. Um, so what, am I answering, am I on track? Just, just dealing with those kinds of heavy issues as an actor. Got it. Um, I love dealing with those issues though. Like that's part of what makes this show tick is that there are these strong characters that have been fleshed out and are developed and intriguing that are confronted with very real world issues that have very real consequences. But we also have magic and it's also kooky and crazy and fun and like I think part of what makes the kooky crazy work is that we have these hard scenes. Um, and what keeps it interesting as an actor is that I can kind of fluctuate. Oh, hi! I'm good. Um, I can kind of fluctuate between genres if I want on any given day of work. So it's always interesting on the magicians. Are you yeah. excited? To not have to wear the eye patch anymore? Was I'm it a so pain? Excited. Like, what was it? it was, well, it was a pain and it was also a challenge, like I just said. It was one of those things that it was third year on a show. I'd been playing this character for, you know, already two full years. And a challenge was definitely welcome. Because um, I, I want to grow as much as possible on this show. Because I think anytime you can work this consistently for this long, you got to take advantage of, of the learning you could do. Um, so I took it as a learning curve, and I learned a lot. I made a lot of mistakes, I think, um, but I also learned from them. So, so it's bittersweet. <laughs> Um, yeah. I think a month or so ago, um, I saw a tweet from you that you yeah. worked with an actress that you, on the show that you had worked with previously. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about that and tease anything? I'm probably going to get in so much trouble. Um, and now I've worked with two I've never worked before. Um, and when I tweeted that, I was very quickly reminded when people started guessing that I had actually been in scenes with this person before. But we had never had like stuff to do, and she's such a lovely person, and I really enjoyed working with her, and I'd always kind of wanted to work with her. Um, and there was another actress, oh my gosh, thank you, that I've, I've admired her work outside of our show and on our show for many years that I get to, to have a nice scene and confrontation with so some exciting new stuff there <laughs>